Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a vampiric sword. So this is a special request from George Harrison. He says, hey man, could you create a vampire or vampiric sword that absorbs a percentage of the total damage? Also, I want to make a skill that does the, that does the same thing, absorb X percent of total damage. I'd be so glad. Thanks for all your tips so far. Um, so I've made your vampiric sword, but I've gone a step further. Um, I made a sword that the more people uh, or more creatures you kill with it, the stronger it gets. So um, I've made a little event so that we can take damage just to see that it's working. And that, uh... So let's equip that sword really quickly. Alright, so we have uh, a vampire sword here. And this sword deals uh, absorb damage and drains HP from your target. It's got a base attack of 90. The sword gets stronger for each soul it's consumed. Plus one attack power per killing blow. So if we equip this now, we see that our attack is at 139. So we'll keep that number in, in mind, 139. So let's kill a couple things with this vampiric sword. See if we get a RHD. If you if you notice that damage isn't popping up, I don't know if that's just a recent uh, update bug. I'm using the most recent version 1.17a version of the Battle Core engine from Yanfly, and it's probably just a little bug based on uh, the updates he did. Also, this JP earned. Uh, you can see instead of get telling me how much, it's giving me plus NAN. Um, the skill core was also updated, so. I'm sure these will be patched out eventually. I'm just wondering if anybody else has that issue with the most recent ones. And if you uh, if you have a previous version, uh, I've uh, unfortunately overwrote all my previous versions with the with the most recent version. So if you have Yanfly's version 1.16 Battle Core engine, let me know and see if I can get that just to to test if it's the updates that's causing that or if it's something else in, that's uh, on my end. Um, so, oops, I forgot to check our attack bar, but our base number was 139. So as we're killing things, we should have, I think, plus four more attack now, since we've killed two things with uh, the vampire sword. So let's check our status on Hellraiser. And we've got uh, plus 143, and we were at 139, so it's working. The vampire sword uh, is... Uh, you can see that as he was attacking, he was gaining life, so his HP is full again. So that's working, and we're gaining a, a skill. And we can also test that with the debug, because the variable I'm using is 70. And you can see that it's set to 4 now, so uh, I'll show you how I did that. I want to show you some skills that you also requested. So these will basically uh, do the same thing, but instead of using attack power, they're using magical attack power. So I've made two versions for you, the Absorb Essence and the Mass Absorb uh, Essence. So. Mass Absorb Essence will do the same thing as the, the single version will, but it hits everybody. Um, I also have an, an error with my casting animation. I've just got some weird bugs going on right now. I don't know what's what's happening. Um, it might be just temporary things that'll be fixed because of uh, updates. But yeah, let me know if you're experiencing any of the same issues. And if you haven't updated yet, uh, copy your original version and then update. So uh, if it is the, that's the case, then I can maybe get that original version from you, the version 1.16 of the Battle Core. Um, I've disabled some other scripts, but let me show you how we do the Vampire Sword. So to do uh, the Vampire Sword, the first thing that you're going to want to do is create some abilities. So go to your Skills tab and create a, a weapon called Vampiric Strike, Strike or Vampire Strike or something. Give it a name and description, uh, set the skill type. And you're not going to want to give this any cost to, to use because we're going to set this to be used on a weapon. So uh, in the everything else can be set to your liking. The the damage equation that I've set up, uh, I'm using a TP script here, um, but you can ignore all of this and you can also ignore the parentheses. So if you go a.atk times 4 plus a.mat minus b.def times 2, then that's your damage formula for your vampire strike. Um, now, you're going to have to put this in the notes, and you will need some Yanfly scripts for this. Um, you're going to need the equipped core, uh, and you're going to need uh, the core engine, and uh, possibly more. Uh, uh, this is post-damage uh, eval, so you're going to put this in uh, the note tags. 
brackets post uh, dash damage space eval and then we're going to make a conditional statement in here saying if the target's HP is less than or equal to zero um, then do this. We're setting a variable to uh, the game variables so we're typing var uh, space x space equals space uh, dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value and in parentheses this is going to be the variable that stores your vampire sword uh, death count basically and then we're going to put an inline then we're going to say x equals uh, x plus one you could also use plus plus and then uh, in uh, inline right there and then we're going to say game variables dot set value and make sure you capitalize this v on value and this v on variables it is case sensitive in javascript and in parentheses we're saying we want to change this variable by adding this number to it so we're taking the number it was adding one to it and then setting that value to the incremented number of one so every time you kill something with this sword it will add one to the variables but that's not going to make the damage increase make sure we use this brace to close it off and then we go uh, bracket forward slash post dash damage space eval and we close that off what's going to actually uh, increase the damage is uh, what we have on our weapon so let's go to our weapons tab we're gonna make a new weapon and call it the vampiric sword or vampire sword or whatever give it a description and let the player know what it's going to be doing and that it can get stronger every time we kill something set the weapon type since you specified sword I would say sword give it whatever animation I've made a custom one for it uh, set the base tack to uh, whatever you want but then we're gonna use this uh, these note tags in here so I'm using skill underscore ID colon and then the number of the skill that we want to use for this so we've designed our skill and in this case it's 278 so this is our vampire strike skill and now on this weapon we're saying use this skill instead of the base attack so then we're gonna have to use custom uh, parameters in order for it to get stronger every time uh, it kills something so it's adding to the variable but it's not getting stronger until we use this note tag right here so we're gonna go custom space parameters ATK equals dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value of the same variable that we're increasing use an end line and then close it off by typing uh, what you see here the opening bracket forward slash custom space parameters in bracket and that's it for the vampiric sword for those other two skills it's similar um, but you don't need any note tags they're just real simple skills and what you do is you go to damage and you select HP drain I didn't say that uh, on uh, on this one as well I used HP drain but this won't matter because this formula is not being used um, it's actually being used by the skill uh, or it's actually I'm sorry, yeah, this formula does matter. Uh, this is the skill. So you're going to be using this formula without the parentheses. And the damage type you're setting to HP drain element doesn't really matter. It's up to you. I've just gone with absorb. Uh, for these skills, I've done the same thing. HP drain and absorb. And for these two skills, uh, they're more of a magic type uh, skill. So I've given them an, uh, an MP cost. And uh, the formula for these are A.MAT. MAT times 8 minus uh, b dot mdf times 2 so this is the caster's magic attack power times 8 minus the defender's magic defense times 2 they're sort of strong but uh, you might want to up these costs or reduce this number right here the 8 if you want them to to be a little uh, less strong or maybe have different versions say absorb essence 2 or or drain life 2 and then on part 1 it's it's times 4 and then on part two is point, uh, time six or whatever. You can come up with some clever stuff, I'm sure. But um, George Harrison, this was for you. Hopefully you like it. And if anybody knows what I was talking about, about uh, Yanfly's uh, updates, uh, I could really use version 1.16 right now. If that is the issue, um, if, you're, if you don't have these issues and you've got everything updated, let me know in the comments below so that I can uh, double check everything that I have running. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Continue to like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next tutorial.